He's one of the greatest actors of our time, but when the truth about his personal life came to light, his house of cards came tumbling down. <laughs> this happen? Ladies and gentlemen, this is Matt Rogers. After Spacey's sexual allegations back in October of last year, we thought we'd seen the last of this highly decorated actor. Not long before then, we had releases such as Rebel in the Rye, Baby Driver, Nine Lives, which we won't talk about, and of course, All the Money in the World the movie that had the Academy ready to give him his third Oscar. However, director Ridley Scott wanted nothing to do with him after the allegations and cut him out of the movie altogether. Netflix then cancelled an original title, Gore, which had Spacey in the lead role. However, this year, director James Cox decided to keep Kevin Spacey on for what may very well be his final movie, The Billionaire Boys Club. Filmed in 2015, Billionaire Boys Club is based on the true story of a bunch of teenagers that hit the big time back in the 80s, which eventually turns deadly. Spacey playing Ron Levin, a high roller that takes an interest in Ansel Elgort's character, Joe Hunt, the two actors having worked together previously in Baby Driver. It is weird seeing Spacey in a flamboyant, charming role, as he's usually renowned for playing intimidating asshole characters. But as usual, he does play it effortlessly. Issue is though, his character spends his scenes admiring these young boys, which it's a little too close to home knowing what we know now. The movie itself, not so great. It's sort of like a worse version of The Social Network or Jobs. The pacing's all off, the story's cheesy, and in its opening weekend, the movie brought in a dismal 126 US dollars. In all fairness, due to the media shitstorm surrounding it, the promos and trailers went unseen, and it was an extremely limited release in cinemas, so it didn't really stand a chance. But the producers decided that they didn't want the misconduct of one man to stop the world from seeing the hard work put into the film. They scrubbed Spacey from the posters and sent off the finished product as is. I remember Spacey's movies like The Usual Suspects and my all-time favourite movie, American Beauty, were so iconic, and it's a shame that this movie is the full stop on his filmography. But he obviously has to face the consequences of his alleged actions, and as much as I hate to believe it, it's hard to argue with 20-odd accusations. But have you seen Billionaire Boys Club, and do you think it will be his final movie? I'll be interested to hear what you guys have to say. Make sure you subscribe as I'm bringing you all new videos every single week. But until next time, thanks so much for hanging out. If you had a good time, then spank that like button. And if you subscribe during this video, then welcome aboard. This is Matt Rogers, and that is all.